hello guys welcome back so in this video i'm going to show you how to export and import your jobs including with your file delimited files and whatever the jobs you have created uh, in your etl so uh, for that i'm going to show you how to do that so i'll just uh, um, so this is a simple job i have uh, which is csv2 database table and i have to uh, two file delimited files so employee and sales data okay so i'll just right click on my job designs and export items so in the export items you can see by default the csv database table has been selected and we have two different two file delimited okay just select on this file delimited and i don't have anything else here okay i have nothing in this so i'll just click on finish so he it is actually asking you to which location you just wanted to save so in the documents i'll create etl export okay so where is the detail export it's here okay so i'll just save select this folder and finish now it's saved successfully so i'll just go to my documents so in the etl exports you can see uh, the job uh, the project name intact about has been saved so this will have the metadata file delimited files and its uh, dependencies and whatever the stuff which are related to the project and which is which is also having a job one is screenshot one is property and item now how to import the same job to your talent etl so now this is a tricky part here so what i'll do is uh, i'll just close this one um, and i'll click on my right click on my jobs and import items so i'll just browse where is my job so browse so desktop sorry it's in document sorry documents so etl exports so i'll select the project select so here you can see uh, I don't see any file delimited or any job which I have exported and you can see errors and warnings here so it says file delimited employee this item already exists in your uh, in the project so that hasn't been added so it is also saying that check the recycling bin empty if it is needed so what it is saying is that the files which you are trying to import to your uh, etl those are already existed so if you want to actually add them so you need to delete them even from the recycle bin okay so how to do that so i'll just click this one and delete this job and and i'll even click the employee and sales data and delete them as well so you can see i don't have the file delimiter and jobs now but they are still present in your recycling bins but still you can't import it okay right click import items so browse so sorry uh, it's from uh, documents etl i'm sorry just click on the intact about select so you can see the file still you are not able to add this this item already exists it is i have already deleted from my project but still it says this thing this is because the job is still present in your recycle bin so you need to delete that from your recycle bin as well so this was very earlier i have deleted extract data but as of now i have only deleted the employee sorry sales data employee and csv database to table so delete these things from the recycle bin as well so it's giving us some warning saying like employee will be deleted forever cannot be retrieved continue anyway yes yes okay now i hope this works now right click import items browse and select your project documents so etl project now you can see there are items now like the project which you have which we have deleted just now and the file file delimiter the jobs and the file delimiters click finish so there we are so we have our jobs back and the file delimiters back so that's it guys so this is how actually you can export and import jobs in talent etl so the important thing is you make sure you, you have removed those files from the recycling bin as well
so that's it guys thank you for watching so we'll come some we'll I'll come with some good topic in later video in etl so thanks for watching